Princess Eugenie Baby, How Eugenie Could Echo Meghan Markle With Key Royal Baby Decision Princess Eugenie announced the happy news she is expecting her first child with husband Jack Brooks Fink on Friday, but how could Eugenie echo Meghan Markle with royal baby decision? Princess Eugenie, 30, announced on Instagram last week she is expecting her first child with husband of two years Jack Brooks Bank. The happy couple could be seen beaming at the camera in one sweet snap, and holding a pair of teddy bear baby booties in a second. Buckingham Palace also released a statement revealing the news, saying the Queen and Prince Philip were delighted with the news. Eugenie and Jack wedding a lavish ceremony at St. George's Chapel in May 2018, with many celebrity guests and royal family members present. The couple have stayed relatively out of the public eye in recent times, with Eugenie carrying out a few royal engagements and speaking to charities during lockdown. The royal baby news comes at a difficult time for the firm, with royal duties suspended for months due to lockdown and the Queen unable to celebrate her birthday with her family. How could Eugenie echo Meghan Markle with royal baby decision? Princess Eugenie revealed her child is due to be born in early 2021, meaning a birth could be seen in January, February or even March. This roughly puts the princess at four or five months pregnant depending on when her actual due date is. Royal fans have been wondering if Eugenie's baby will be granted a royal title, however it seems unlikely. This could follow the precedent set by Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, who opted not to give their young son a title. Archie was eligible for a title due to Prince Harry's position in the line of succession, however instead the Sussexes gave Archie the surname Mount Baden Windsor. Not long after his birth the couple decided to leave the royal family and start a new life in North America. Another way Eugenie may echo Meghan could be to have her baby at the Portland Hospital in London. Eugenie and Beatrice were both born at the Portland, as was Meghan's son Archie. Royals like Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Princess Diana had given birth at the Lino Wing at St. Mary's Hospital. Kate and Diana both posed for iconic photos on the steps outside the hospital after their children had been born. However, Eugenie may decide to follow in the footsteps of her mother Sarah Ferguson and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and choose the Portland Hospital. She may also decide to shirk the photo opportunity outside the hospital like Meghan did. Eugenie is very active on social media, so any announcement may instead come via her Instagram account. There is no further information on Eugenie's due date, the sex of her child or any name possibilities as yet. The royal family are delighted, with Sarah, Duchess of York and Prince Andrew due to become grandparents for the first time. Once the news was confirmed, Eugenie's mother Sarah Ferguson told Hello, soon-to-be grandpa and granny are absolutely overjoyed. This has been a busy year for the York family as oldest daughter Princess Beatrice wed her now husband in July. The wedding had been scheduled earlier in the year, however the pandemic and subsequent lockdown forced the nuptials to be postponed. Instead, Beatrice and Ada opted for a private ceremony at the Royal Chapel of All Saints on her parents' royal lodge estate. <laughs>